a BTS! wondered how South Korea managed to go from a country whose most popular music form was trot in the 1990s to world domination of popular music 30 years later. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, I'm not knocking trot. I actually find it spiritually uplifting, but it didn't evolve organically into K-pop. And contrary to popular thought, it wasn't created or invented by JYP, YG or Isu Man in the 1990s. To find the origins of K-pop, we do have to travel back to the 1990s and also to the other side of the world. Technological advances meant that the world became much smaller and people could access entertainment and media all over the world and that included young people in South Korea. A small portion of young South Koreans fell instantly in love with black American entertainers and musicians. It was completely different from Korean trot and they were hooked. Black Americans had showmen. What is this, a blizzard that I can't have money in my pocket and people not talk about me? They had rap and these people didn't even have to sing. and they had sexy, beautiful girls that could do it all. While this may have been jaw-dropping for South Koreans, it was a natural progression for Black Americans who had come from a long line of entertainers. Black Americans had been rapid since the 70s and 80s. Super talented sexy girl groups, there were loads. And don't start me on the talented showmen, there are too many, but you are looking at one of the best, if not the best. Moreover, these heroes had even older heroes. What white Americans couldn't take away from black Americans through slavery and racism was their ability to perform. And this was passed down generation after generation. Young South Koreans didn't disrespect their own culture. It was just the fact they wanted to perform like the black American entertainers and the skills and the culture were just completely alien to South Korea. So it meant they had to study and work alongside black entertainers to reach that level. <laughs> And boy, did they study. And study. Young South Korean producers and performers of the 1990s were also aware there was a risk of borrowing from black American culture. It could work, but it also could turn into cheesy novelty. Ooh. 
So a good 20 years before Alex was hired to be in Black Swan, Sang Min hired Mikey to be in Woo-Ra. When you couldn't get a genuine black American, you just had to black up the darkest member of your group and just pretend. <laughs> Since the 1990s, JYP has been summoning the gods unsuccessfully to become both Bobby Brown and Michael Jackson. He's a hard worker, but there's something about him that I don't like. Please. Sadly, the black Americans couldn't teach JYP swag and street cred. generations did really well but it wasn't cost effective to hire black people to have swag on stage or to pretend to be a black person or to live in America for five years so they had to bring America to South Korea and this is how the South Korean k-pop idol culture was born The group TLC was immensely popular in America in the 1990s and they were used as a blueprint. They were able to rap, sing and dance. And ever since, those are the requirements needed in an idol group. And that's why I find it hysterical when newbie K-pop fans say black women don't belong in K-pop when they are actually the blueprint and the gold standard for K-pop and the K-pop industry has not swayed away from that blueprint for 30 years. Black K-pop fans shouldn't have to defend themselves or be driven out of the fandom if they do three things. Know your black entertainment current and historical because i can assure you k-pop idols and k-pop agencies know everything about black culture don't allow anybody to gaslight you or to control or to change the narrative and that is why knowledge is power don't be afraid of putting the children straight when it comes to K-pop and black music. If people are going to gaslight you, they're not your friends anyway. So stand your ground and put them straight. Loving K-pop and hating black entertainers is like buying copies of dresses, but hating the original design. Those people have severe personality disorders because even when you put the dresses together, they say they can see no similarity and they will even say their copy is much better. Those people are going to argue with you forever and unless you're a psychologist, you are wasting your time. When I used to teach K-pop dance classes, students would ask me why we don't have idol schools outside South Korea. And my answer would be because you don't need them. You need to be trained in dance, vocals and rap. But that intense training, you can also pick up culturally. They can't do that in South Korea. <laughs> Now that's cool. Don't get it twisted. Not all CEOs of South Korean agencies have a passion for black music and black entertainers. 
Some are there just to repurpose, repackage and pass what they've plagiarised off as their own. They've taken the blueprint from black entertainers, they've taken the ideas from black entertainers and they've taken the piece. Well, just as I thought, trash. Well, just as I thought, trash. Over the years, I've found many K-pop idols problematic when it comes to their views on race and black people. However, I find SM idols slightly more problematic than others. Idols have so many restrictions on how they behave and what they can say. However, I've noticed over the years, certain agencies like SM, their idols say and behave how they want when it comes to black people and race. That has come from the management. The K-pop fandom reminds me of the old rock and roll boomer fandom, where people were born, lived, and died not acknowledging the black artists who created rock and roll. The fact that the fandom behaves identically shows how far we have not come. But what did I really expect when one of the biggest names in K-pop ignores black entertainers while simultaneously stealing from them? When you reproduce and repackage somebody else's work as your own for profit, that tells me a lot about you. And then when you further have people around you bad-mouthing those same people and you say nothing, that tells me even more about you. If you are an agency, a fan or an idol, and you don't like black people, do not be part of an industry that is repackaged black music. Follow something that has no connection with black music. There are loads of white music genres, or you can follow trot. You can literally see the steam coming out the nose of some K-pop fans when their idols idolise black entertainers. K-pop is black American music 
in South Korea. Like walkers and lays, it is the same thing, but different names in different parts of the world. Without them, your idol couldn't rap. Be a showman. Jump in and out of the splits. Please.